guys, it's Megan. We are live. Happy Thursday, January 13th, 2022. I am coming at you live with a shoe haul. Now, these shoes have been sitting... Hey, Ambitious Runway, thanks for coming in. You know I'm always watching your stuff. Hey, Nicole, how are you? Um, hi, Angie. Angie Posh, thanks for coming in. Hi, Desi. I have a big... Um, laundry basket here full of shoes that I've been sourcing for the past one or two months. I've just been throwing them in a basket. I typically only photograph shoes when I get like a big batch and then I'll spend a day photographing, cleaning, um, bagging and tagging, and then eventually I'll get them listed. So it's not like jeans and pants where I can just grab a stack of 20, do my photos and do it all in a day. And I normally don't find that many shoes when I'm out thrifting, so I kind of let them sit until they pile up and then I tackle it. So here we are, we're gonna do a live thrift haul. A lot of these I'm not gonna remember the exact prices because they were probably half off, um, but I'll do my best and try and figure out what the price was quickly because I have quite a few here and we can't be on here for hours, I've got work to do, so. Hey Thrift Goodwill, thanks for coming in. Hey Thrifty Mom. Hey Nancy, how are you? Finally seeing you live in the new year. Loved your denim finds that you posted. Did you find them all at the Thrift? Um, so Nancy, those all actually came from the Real Real. I had one of those $25 off coupons if you spend 50 or more. Um, and then my friend had another coupon, so I was able to get 10 pair and cost of goods after paying um, the shipping, so it was 25 off 50. I tried to find jeans that were all $10 a pair, so it'd be exactly 50 and then take the $25 off. You'd be at 25 plus tax and the $12 shipping. Cost of goods on all of those should be slightly less than $10 just because you have to pay such an excessive amount for shipping and tax and they also have like a COVID surcharge. Ambitious Runway, shoes are my jam now. Excited to see what you got. Well, I'm excited, let's get started now. Um, I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get going with this. These I literally picked up two days ago at Goodwill, that's why they're on the top. These are Donald Pliner suede, we're gonna call this a suede zip up mule booty with a peep toe. They're a beautiful wine color. These were half off, so these are $3.50. They're size six and a half. Beautiful color, and it is Donald Pliner, which is an excellent brand. Brand new, these are probably four or five hundred bucks. They're in excellent condition. If you look at the soles, they're barely worn. The only thing on there is the price. It was seven dollars, and then these ones were half off. These came from a local Goodwill. Um, at that same Goodwill the other day, I also picked up these by Munro. It's M U N R O. Um, it is really hard to see this brand name, but I looked these up and these are sold at Nordstrom for about 200 bucks a pair. Um, here, this might be easier to see. I know it's backwards for you guys because I have the camera flipped, but M-U-N-R-O, Munro, Walking Wedge, Americana. Um, these were $6 and they were half off, so three bucks for these. They are in great condition. They're kind of a weird, looking grandma sandal, I would say, but these have a very good um, retail price on them. So $3 there at the same Goodwill this past week. Hey, Connor's Closet, how are you? Thanks for coming into one of my live shows. Hey, Bonnie, thanks for coming in. Um, Switzer, I gave myself a crink in my neck trying to read the ink on your forearm. Let us see. Oh, you guys do not want to see this. Um, this was a tattoo mistake last year um, with my soon-to-be ex-husband. So, um, yeah, this is coordinates of where we met in Alaska. Uh, we both have it. Um, I'm just going to be honest and tell you guys what that is. Okay, moving on. That's the only tattoo I've ever gotten. This is a pair of Fit Flop sandals. This is also a really good brand that has a good following. These were also 50% off, so these were $3.50. The bottoms do need some cleaning, but the uppers are in pretty good shape, um, and I can still see the size on here. It was worn a little bit, but for $3.50, this brand, um, 
I think these would easily sell for like 40 or more dollars. I've sold that brand several times. Okay, those are the three shoes I picked up um, during this past week. The rest of this stuff is gonna take me a bit more work. So I picked up these um, Justin cowboy boots back in December. Um, the bottom says $12. I don't remember if that's what I paid for it or not. So 12 would have been the max that I paid. I like that they were by Justin. That is a popular um, boot brand. And they are a bright red leather size. Looks like six and a half B. There's a bunch of information here on the inside, but just some red cowboy boots by Justin, $12. Never sold this brand before, so I have no idea what these were sell for, but I'm hoping 50 bucks or more since I did um, pay up for them at 12 bucks a pair. Um, these are a pair of Cole Haan, um, I wanna say they're like cheerleader or tennis sneakers. They are perforated leather. I remember looking these up while I was in the store and they did have a fairly high original retail price. And these have no price marked on them. This was from a thrift store where the shoes are all like a flat, a flat price. So these, gosh, they were probably four or five dollars. But I think something like this will probably sell for thirty-five or forty. Um, the bottoms need to be cleaned up a bit, but the uppers are in excellent shape. Hey, Yellow Daisy Door, thanks for coming in. Hey, Finding Cadence. Hey, Mustang. Hey, um, Freeborn Mama, thanks for stopping by. Wow, there's already over 20 of you in the chat. Thank you, everyone. I need a little drink of water here because I've been talking way too much. Um, these are by Izola. Don't remember where I picked them up. Probably a local thrift store here in Dallas. They are like a navy blue velvet with um, a cap toe that's got some glitter on it. It says $2.99 pink, so I either paid $3 or it might have been a half off item, so $1.50. I'm gonna go with three bucks um, because I do not remember. Next item. This is a pair of Cole Haan. I believe these came from a 50% off sale, um, but I am seeing no price on them at all. You know what, these may have came from that same thrift store where I got these, where they were a flat fee, because see how they're like zip tied together? So these were probably four or five dollars for the Cole Haan. They're leather, they've got a nice buckle toe. This is like a classic career piece. Um, size eight, or no, not eight, size seven, they're leather, made in Brazil. These are another one from that same thrift store. Um, these were marked at $6 though. So I think if they weren't marked, they were like maybe four or five bucks. And then if it was higher end, they'd mark them up. So $6, these are by Echo, E-C-C-O. This is an expensive brand. And these, I remember looking them up online, I believe are still for sale on their website. And these are a beautiful, like kind of taupe gray, nubuck leather. Um, which Nubuck leather is just very popular altogether. It's got a cap toe. There's a basic lace-up sneaker, um, Euro size 37. So I want to say that's a US 7, I think. No, US 6. Um, gosh, I would even keep these for myself. They're really cute. Um, but I want to say something like this would go for $50 or more. Next up, these also have that thing and no price on the bottom. So probably four or five dollars. These are called Soft Walk. I believe I looked these up while I was in the store. Um, they're just like a comfort shoe. To me, this is another like grandma sandal. Um, I believe they were a good size though. So let's say these were five bucks. Um, where is the size? Oh, size 11 narrow. So this is a bigger size. The soles are in excellent shape. Um, okay, these also have that same zip tie. So this is $6.99 pink. So I may have paid $7 for these. They're Dance Co. They are um, like a Mary Jane, what are these called? 
occupational shoes. Dansko has not done very well for me this past year, but to me, these look like they're in pretty good condition. They do have the buckle strap. Um, the soles will look great once they're cleaned up. So even at $7, oh, and they're a size 42, which I believe is like a women's 10. So they are a bigger size and bigger sizes always do well for me with shoes. Hey Rose, thanks for coming in. Uh, here's another item with that same zip tie on it. Okay, but they say $3.99 pink. So I may have paid $4 for these. Made in Italy. Oh, these are Salvatore Ferragamo. Very, very hard to see that. It's wore off. Um, but Salvatore Ferragamo, new. I mean, these are like seven, eight hundred dollars The bottoms do show some pretty significant wear here, but the uppers look like they're in great condition. Nice patent, patent leather with like this horse bit um, buckle here. They are a size eight and a half B, so a medium width. Um, but the bottoms do need some cleaning. These were, it says $3.99 pink. Um, man, I really wish I remember if pink was half off, um, or if I just paid full price, but we'll just go with the full price here. So four bucks for these. These are by Nurture. These are, this is more of a suede than a new buck leather, but they're just like a basic slingback uh, peep toe heel that's got like a laser cut um, perforated leather and they are a size 10 so that's why I picked them up because of the size because you know bigger sizes always do better yellow daisy door never heard of that brand which one because I'm going so fast put it back in the chat which brand you haven't heard of um, here's another cool item these are lady godiva um I don't even know what this brand is, but I'm pretty sure I must have looked it up there. Oh, Nurture. Let me show you that up close because I find Nurture all the time. Um, they have like a little silver leaf on there and it it says uh, Nurture on the, on the top and on the bottom. And I typically see this brand with um, like more of comfort career shoes and heels but I find this one all the time and it seems like they're consistent sellers for me. So this brand again, I don't know what it is, but I'm sure I looked it up. Lady Godiva. And I, again, I know it's backwards for you guys on there. Um, the bottom says size 37, which is a six and a half. That's probably what tipped me off is the European sizing on there. These look like just like a leather wedge sandal with perforated leather up here. Um, and how much were they? The size says $4.99 green. Um, I want to say this was probably a half off item. I don't know. I wish I remember. Um, I'll have to pull my receipts and just go with my average cost of goods for each item since I don't remember what color tag was on sale that day. Hey, Vintage, thanks for coming in. Yellow daisies are, nope, yeah, never heard of them in Ohio. Well, I'm down here in DFW, which is kind of like a big hub for the U.S. since we're kind of like centrally located in the middle south. Um, so I found a ton of brands here that I never found when I lived in Seattle or Alaska. This is a brand called Levity. I picked these up because they have a wooden chunky heel. And for me... Wooden shoes, wooden chunky heel shoes always do well. Um, I want to say I sold a pair recently, but it was by a well-known brand for over a hundred bucks. Who made them? Um, I'm going to have to go look it up, but they went for over a hundred and they were just a really cool, like funky, chunky wooden heel. The brand's called Levity. Um, $4.99 pink, so I may have paid $5 for these. It may have been $2.50. I don't know. The size is a 9. Yeah, leather up. My video was paused because my screen turned off. Sorry, you guys. Hey, 17th floor closet. Thanks for coming in. The lining on here is peeling a little bit, but you know what? You can't see that when it's worn. To me, that's not a, a deal breaker, and they've got these huge wooden chunky heels, which is going to be the selling feature on those. 
Next up, these are by Soul Society. These are some calf hair, um, like cheetah print dyed. These are, it says $4.99 pink, so I may have paid five bucks for them. Um, real fur dyed sheared cow hair. Um, you know what? These ones may have came from, what is that store called? Plato's Closet, because I see that yellow clearance sticker on there, and I know I bought a bunch of shoes there when they were doing a 90% off sale. So even though this says $4.99 pink, these may have actually been a dollar. I'm going to have to go back through my receipts and look. Um, but they're just a basic flat with a pointy toe, and they are um, lace up. Next item, these are Pedro Garcia, made in Spain. These one says $5.99 pink, so potentially $6, maybe half off. Looks like a leather upper with an open toe and then um, just like this Velcro, well, hook and loop, can't use the word Velcro, um, closure. And these look like a bigger size. Made in Spain, size 38, so 37 was a six, so maybe these are only a size seven. To me, they look a little bit bigger, like they'd be a nine or a 10, but maybe not. Let's get some more water. All right, next up, Stuart Weitzman. This is a, one of my favorite shoe brands to sell. These are a suede slip-on, kind of just like a classic pump. Price on the bottom says $5.99 yellow. I would have paid six bucks for these. Could have been half off. Again, we don't know. Um, made in Spain, and the size is kind of worn on here. I don't know. I'll investigate that later, but they're just like a black suede slip-on comfort pump and it has like this stretchy elastic like all the way around so it is more of like a comfort um career shoe next up we've got some super cute black um this almost feels like a new buck leather booty these are by steve madden these say 6.99 pink so i may have paid seven dollars the bottoms are filthy these need to be cleaned up for sure um yeah, leather upper, they're a size seven and a half, made in Mexico, rubber sole. The style name is on here, which is great. Um, and these are just gonna be a beautiful shoe to photograph. I'm always thinking about photos when I pick up shoes at the store because the photo is what sells the item. So I already have thoughts in my head of how I wanna photograph these, but they're just a cute chunky heel, lace up, like boot, ankle booty, um, possibly a new buck leather. All right. Oh, you know what? I have a bag here in the bottom, which is shoes that I got from that 90% off sale at Plato's Closet. So those Soul Society shoes I showed you earlier were indeed um, the $3.99 or $4.99 pink tag price because I have these separated actually out here in the bottom. Hey, Miss Ness, thanks for stopping in. Hey, behind, thanks for coming in here. All right, these are Sam Edelman. This is another brand that I love to sell. These are just like a basic black strappy sandal pump. I know a lot of people call this style a sandal, which I guess technically it is. It's not a pump, but I tend to list these under the pump section on eBay and not the sandal section. Um, they are a size six and a half black patent leather. They do need to be cleaned up a little bit, but that's pretty easy. Um, soles are definitely worn. We paid says $4.99 pink. You know what? I think pink was either 99 cents or half off. It must have been half off that day because so many of these items are pink. They must have all came from the same shopping trip. Um, actually, these are not leather. They say all man-made, but they do have a style name on here as well, which is fantastic. And they have all the pieces of the buckle, which is something you really need to look out for at the thrift stores because sometimes... Um, one of the buckle straps will be completely missing or the buckle's broken, but they do have a really cool like slanted open toe um, strap here. This is just kind of like a nice classic timeless piece. All right, these are by Karen Millen. K 
K-A-R-E-N-M-I-L-L-E-N, Karen Millen. I'm pretty sure I looked these up and these were decent brand, but regardless, they're a beautiful black studded peep toe pump. Um, it says 499 pink and size 40, so that's like a women's 10. These are beautiful. Um, and there is, I can clean this up pretty good. I do have a lot of really good cleaning supplies now for shoes. I may do a video on that soon of how I clean my shoes because I've purchased quite a few new things in the last few months um, that have worked wonders on cleaning up and restoring shoes. So um, yeah, like I've got some really good, it's not even shoe polish, it's like a shoe scuff cover. But since the bottoms are black, like I can just take that and just like, after I clean up the bottom, I can just dab that all over the bottom and the bottoms will be black again and look fantastic. So these are potentially $5, but considering everything was pink um, tag, I'm gonna say they were probably all half off. And I'm sure when I look at the replay, I'm gonna realize that I said that so many times in this video. All right, here's our Play-Doh's closet bag. Everything in here was 90% off. Hey Mets, 3157, thanks for coming in. Hey Northwest Purple Sparkles, I haven't seen you in a while. All this stuff is 90% off. There are a few pieces of clothing in here. I'll show you that as well, but let's start with the shoes. These have been sitting for probably three months. These are a pair of, I don't even know, what's the brand here? Um, 27 Edit is the brand. I think I just picked these up based off style and the fact that they were $14 and they were 90% off. Um, so these would have been $1.40. I think they're suede. Oh yeah, leather upper. And there's a style name, Hannah. So this does look like a good quality brand. Um, so $1.40. And I'm gonna set those aside out of this tub because they, these are all from Plato's Closet. Um, this is a pair of hot pink um, Steve Madden flats. These are not leather. It looks like they are just, it says PU upper, so some type of poly something. Size eight, but they are a beautiful bright pink. Their price was 14, so these would be $1.40. Here is a pair of Franco Sardo flats. These were $16, so $1.60. These look like a suede leather. They've got a really nice bow, pointy toe. Um, they are a size six and a half, and these are in pretty good condition. Just a little bit of cleanup on the bottom here, but the suede upper, just take a lint roller over it, and these will look fantastic. Next item, let's see if I can find the matching piece. Um, these are BC BG Paris. They're a Dior Say, which is that open side, pointy toe ballet flat, size nine. Um, the soles are in great shape. Original price it looks like was $14, so that means these were a dollar and 40 cents. This is a pair of Sam Edelman, I would call these like a gladiator back zip up sandal with an open toe. These do look like leather. Let's read the tag here. If there's a tag. Um, oh wow, these still have the Nordstrom rack tag on the bottom. Um, these might be these might be new just because there's like no wear really on that Nordstrom tag. And I don't really see any scuffs. Um, so anyways, size eight and a half, $14, so $1.40. Um, oh, here's the size. Yeah, eight and a half. The style name is Draper, leather upper. These might actually be brand new. Um, yeah, they don't look worn at all. Well, this was a good score for $1.40. All right, next up, we've got a pair of Steve Madden studded 
um, like loafer flats. These are a size seven and a half. The style name is granite. Um, fabric upper bonded leather outsole. That's about it. Um, these were $14, so $1.40 again. I do have a similar pair of these that I own that are black that I'm actually going to sell. So I'll probably list them at the same time because they look like the same style, but mine are black and mine are size six. Um, so again, $1.40. Uh, looks like we have a couple more shoes in here. These are by, these are Franco Sardo as well. Original price, $9. So these were 90 cents. They are a size seven and they're just like a strappy leather sandal. I don't know for sure if these are leather. I'm gonna have to look at these tags. Oh wait, here it is. Yep, leather upper and there is a style name. The style is called Glorious. I love when a shoe has a style name on it because it makes it so much easier just to Google real quick and find the appropriate keywords for it and obviously put that in the title because there may be someone looking for that exact item. So, 90 cents on that. Uh, I think this is the last pair of shoes in this bag from uh, Plato's Closet. These are J. Crew, um, and these are nicer J. Crew shoes. I, these are not from like their outlet store. These are a size nine, made in Morocco. The bottoms are in pretty worn out condition, but I know I can clean them up a little bit. The uppers just look really cool. It's like a double um, leather strap. Um, that's just really kind of fancy looking to me. These are probably close to $100 new just for this basic sandal by J. Crew. Um, they are size nine. And there is some cleanup I can do on these to fix some of this. There is some wear around the edges. I do have some special um, leather like paint and spray that I can go over the edge where it's worn off and kind of fix that up a little bit. I also have brown so I can go around the back here and retouch that. I really need to do a video of how I prep and clean up shoes these days because my process has definitely improved over the years. So these were $10, so $1 for those. I will go ahead and show you guys the clothes that I got from Plato's Closet as well, since everything was 90% off. We'll know the price. Hey, Monica, thanks for coming in. Edge Dressy. Are you talking about those Steve Madden? Okay, this is, I believe it's a vintage Dooney and Burke. Yes, this is a vintage Dooney and Burke bag. I really do not sell handbags anymore, but these vintage ones, for some reason, um, I have good luck selling them on Poshmark. So this original price was 20, it was clearance. So this was $2 for this bag. The inside, um, pretty dirty in the bottom. I know there are some really good YouTube videos on how to clean um, the inside of these suede leather bags. So I'm gonna have to do some research so I don't mess it up. But it has an excellent pocket here with different card compartments. Um, if I can get this lining cleaned up good, I think this will be a beautiful bag to photograph. Um, looks like that's how the strap goes. But for $2, a vintage Dooney and Burke, if I could get this cleaned up nicely, um, I would say this would go for 40 bucks on Poshmark. All right. So here are clothes, but again, this all came from that 90% Play-Doh's clearance. Um, these are J. Crew Mercantile, size 25, just a pair of like gold shorts. These we paid 80 cents for. Next up, uh, Mets 3157 for sure. I'm always looking for new tips on shoe prep. You know, before I get off this live stream, I may grab my box that I have up here of my newest shoe um, cleaning and prep supplies. And then once I post this live stream to, um, YouTube, I will see if I can find, um, Amazon links for all of those products because I've used all of them and I can tell you if they're good or not. I have one up there that is amazing for suede. Um, and I think I actually have a video clip of that somewhere that maybe I could throw in of me actually using it because it's incredible. This is a pair of lightweight shorts by Sundance, size small. This is a bolo brand for me. 
we paid um, 80 cents for these. I think these are probably pajama shorts just based off like how thin they are and the little tie strap here. Uh, here's a pair of men's jeans. Um, we paid a dollar and 40 cents for these. They are Tommy Bahama classic and they are a size 42, 32 classic fit. So these are a larger size and they were only a dollar and 40 cents. Plus they're in great condition. For some reason, I don't like selling men's stuff at all, but men's jeans sell very good for me and for quite a bit more than women's do. So maybe I should be more accepting of men's jeans and dive into that a bit more. Um, here is a pair of Levi's shorts. These are, just says they're 501. It does not have that, um, their higher end label on the inside here, but they have a button fly, which is still very trendy, and they were only $1. So, oh wait, here's a Levi's tag down here. This is kind of a weird one. I haven't seen a Levi's tag sewn in there like that before. Um, but I think this is their mid-range brand that they sell at Macy's just based off these tags on the inside. I know it's not the low end, um, what is it? Signature by Levi Strauss, that's the Walmart one and it doesn't have that that patch here for the ones that are over $100 sold at Nordstrom. I believe this is their mid-range um, line. All right, next item. This is uh, Altered State, size medium. This is just a little skirt. $6, so I paid 60 cents for this. You guys know I really don't sell skirts and dresses anymore, so I picked this up just because it was a cute design and it was 60 cents. Next up, this is an Athleta, I think it's a dress, size medium. It's a beautiful kind of mauve color, and this was $1.50. And I love Athleta. Looks like it's got no pockets, no, no. No pocket on the side, but it has kind of like a nice um, asymmetric hem looking thing here. And let's make sure it has the tag with the style number on it. Yes, oh, and it's modal, so this is a really soft, comfortable piece. Um, spring 2018, so not super old, and it does have the style number on there, which is perfect, so I can find out the exact name. Um, little bit of pilling, but I do have a really great lint shaver, which will take care of this easily. Um, so $1.50 again on that one. Lastly, Flying Monkey, um, these were, I guess, 17, so I paid $1.70 for them. Um, they've got some nice distressing raw hem. Flying Monkey, I typically don't pick up unless it's a dollar or so or something that's new with tags. Most of these are sold at Buckle, um, but these are a nice distressed look. Waist size 24. Um, and less than $2, so I can see why I picked that up. Okay, that is it for my bag. Let me show you guys my shoe cleaning supplies real quick, and then I promise in the future I will make a video of how I clean and prep shoes, but I just wanna show you guys the supplies really quick in case you're wondering what I use. So give me one second and I'll be right back. All right, I've got a whole little tub here of things that I've purchased. Um, let me grab something over here because I don't think it is in here. Let's look. No, hold on. Is my favorite shoe scuff remover. It's by Feeblings, F-I-E-B-I-N-G-S scuff remover. I used to buy this on eBay and now I can't find it anywhere, but this is the best scuff remover for taking off the um, marker prices on the bottom of shoes. My second best option for that 
is hand sanitizer. Just a basic unscented bottle of hand sanitizer works really well for cleaning the bottom of shoes and taking off the marker um, prices that they put on there. You can also use this on genuine leather to clean it, but I would be careful and do a patch test because on some patent leathers, it will fade um, the leather. So just be careful, but this does work really well on the upper as well if it's leather, if you're trying to clean it up and get off some scuffs and marks. Um, I have this whole box of um, fabric markers. Um, I've used these a couple times just because there's so many different colors. If I need to do like a really quick touch up on something that's a weird color, um, I have these. Um, I can't think of anything I've used them on yet and I don't know. This one I probably would not recommend. Um, I did get one of these Kiwi Shoe Shine brushes here. It's supposed to work really well on, I don't know, like patent leather to like shine them up. Um, maybe I'm not using it right, but I feel like this did not work very well when I, when I used it. Um, this is just a basic shoe cleaning brush. I use this with this shoe cleaning solution. Um, I've actually used this and this on a pair of suede shoes and it cleaned it up very nicely. Now these shoes were either risk cleaning it or just throw them away because they looked pretty bad, but you, this is kind of just like a bottle of soap. You mix a little bit of this with a larger quantity of water. Here's your brush and you just start cleaning. I do use this on soles of shoes a lot if they have a deep tread um, or also just a suede um, upper on a shoe in general, this works pretty good on. Careful with the brushes though, because sometimes this can fade the suede. So again, you gotta be careful. It's kind of a, a learning process of what you can do and what you can't do. Um, this is by far my favorite product in the world. This is like a can of spray paint, but it is suede renew. This one's black. This, let me just find like a black item that's suede here. If these were faded at all, you can take this, and obviously I do this outside because it does have a strong odor, but it is literally spray paint for suede. And I use the black the most. I take um, tissue paper or plastic bags and fill the lining of the shoe so that none of it gets on the inside. And then obviously if there's areas that are not suede, I would not spray that area. But you just go over this, um, like spray paint and it will literally make any suede item look brand new. Um, I really hope I can find that video clip of the one that I did because man, the suede looked so bad and wore out and it was covered in just like scuffs and marks and this made it look brand new. I will definitely make sure I find a link um, for Amazon where you can get this. Black's obviously the one I use the most, but they do also sell it in other colors. I've got a brown and a medium brown. I have used both of these a little bit, but for me, the black one is what I've used the most. Um, this is a little harder because you're trying to like match up colors, but with the black, it's kind of like, you know, anything black that will work on, that's suede. Um, I also have, this is an, a good item as well, the Kiwi Scuff Cover for white leather. I have used this for patent leather. I've used it for the white rubber edging around shoes and it works well on that as well. But it's just like got a, a foam applicator on the top and it's kind of just like paint, but you can use this on on leather and I also use it on the rubber edging of shoes. This comes in a bunch of different colors. This one is very similar, but it's brown. Um, this one's called Kiwi Premium Instant Polish. This one might be for patent leather um, because you can't typically use the same products on a patent leather as you can on a suede. So that's why you've got this like rattle can um, spray paint stuff for the suede. And then this stuff that you dab is uh, better on the patent leather. Oh, I do have another one of those um, in navy. 
I have not used this one yet, but I bought the most common colors that I thought I would use for shoes. So black, two different shades of brown. I need to see if I can find a light brown one and maybe like a dark brown and then navy blue. Um, you know what else might be good is a white one. I wonder if they even make a white one. I don't know. If they have white, I will definitely be buying that as well to add to my collection. Um, this is another great item, shoe goo. So if the sole is peeling apart from an item or if like the leather strap is coming apart, I use this all the time. Now, if it's on like some leather straps, I will use some binder clips to hold it together while it um, while the glue dries, but I use this constantly. Um, this is a great, great item for fixing any type of um, flaw on a shoe where it's like ripped or coming apart. You just like squeeze some of this in there. I also, if it's on like a really small area, I will use a paper clip as um, an applicator. So I'll just open up a paper clip and I will like dip this in there and I'll run it along the area where it needs um, to be like glued back together. And then if I need to, I can put like a binder clip on it to hold it secure. Um, I also have that Kiwi scuff cover for black leather. So I've got it in, I've got the white one, the brown, and I've got the black. These are all items I would definitely get as well as for um, the suede. So this would be for more of patent items and then the rattle can one for suede. Now, what else do I have? I have these, these are actually for furniture. These are touch up um, markers for, it says for wood furniture and floors. I have used these on leather and like the heel, like around the edge of the bottom of a shoe, like, um, like for example, like if there was like a nick in the edge of that, I could use this black one and just cover that really quick with this marker. So you can use these kind of dual purpose. You can use them on furniture, but I've also used these on leather as well. I've got a black, dark brown, medium brown, and light brown. It's great to have a bunch of different color options when you're working with shoes because they're all so different. Um, what else do I have? I mean, I've got pliers in here. I don't know what I've used those on for last. I also have these, um, these are like wax crayons. It's a filler stick. So this is actually for wood. I don't even know why these are in here. I think they came with the uh, markers. So nothing for this. It might work if you had like, is a filler stick it might work good if there's like a nick in the heel of a shoe especially if it's like a, a black heel you might be able to like warm this up and maybe like actually fill in the hole that might work and then lastly in here I have this black rip dye which I have not used yet but I think I bought this and then I found the suede refresh and realized I really didn't need this so I have not used that yet Lastly, I have, this is a uh, suede and nubuck cleaning bar. So if you have a shoe that is suede or nubuck and has like those scuffs or marks on it, you actually can use this as kind of like, almost like a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, but it feels more like one of those rubber erasers you'd use in school. Um, this works really well on suede for getting scuffs out and you just like rub it on there like an eraser. Hey Casey, thanks for coming in. Hi Toddy's Closet. Um, so this super good item, the shoe shining brush, not so much. The fabric markers, not so much. Um, these I use a little bit. The shoe cleaner and brush, I do use that all the time, especially for deep tread. Um, hand sanitizer to clean bottom of shoes, shoe scuff remover, works great on the bottom of shoes. Shoe goo, definitely a must. The Kiwi um, shoe scuff cover is a must. And then 100% the suede sp refreshing spray is the best product ever. 
All right, I'm sure this video has gone on way too long, but I did just want to give you a quick preview of the supplies that I use for shoe cleaning. Um, my voice is already hurting. I need some more water. <sighs> what I'm doing next today, uh, I'm not doing any shoes today. I've got this big pile of jeans behind me that need to be uh, measured, bagged, and tagged, and then listed. They're all photographed, ready to go. So that's what I'm going to work on next. I'm going to put all these shoes in this tote, put it over in my formal dining area, and I will get to those sometime later on. Again, thank you everyone for stopping by, and I'll see you all in the next video.